dress like you're, no wait. Do you look like your zodiac sign? No, that's not it either. Do you act like your zodiac sign? Stay tuned to find out. It's me, once again, your favorite Cancerian queen, here to deliver to you more of your favorite zodiac content. What's up guys, it's your girl, NT here, and that stands, I look like I'm about to punch you. <laughs> and bitch, that stands for Natalia Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post, bitch. I upload a new video every Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it. But hardly ever because I get lazy sometimes and one video is quite enough. You probably get tired of my ranting. But no, today we are finding out if you actually act like your zodiac sign. I do this series called Do You Blank Like Your Zodiac Sign? I've done Do You Look Like or Do You Dress Like? And now it's time to see if you act like your zodiac sign. I'm surprised I haven't done this video yet. It should be pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna go through all of the different signs signs and basically tell you how each one acts and I actually don't have bullet points for this. Most of my zodiac videos, believe it or not, are really organized and planned out and I didn't have time to do that this week. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna speak from my intuition and tell you what I think and how your zodiac probably acts. If you don't already know what your zodiac sign is, I will go ahead and leave a chart right here. It's based on your birthday and zodiacs are essentially these ancient categories that have been around for centuries describing you and how you act and the decisions you make and it's all based on planets and stuff. So check out this chart, find your zodiac sign, and we're just gonna dive right into it. But before we do, before I literally expose you, please subscribe. It really does make a huge difference for me. I know that only 50% of the people that are watching my videos are actually subscribed. That's really insane to me, so if you're watching, hit the button or I'm gonna hit you. I don't know why this video is so aggressive. Just a joke, just a joke. Don't report me. But yes, there are 12 zodiac signs. They are all very different. They respond differently to situations and they all act different. So we're gonna discuss that today. This video is in partnership with BH Cosmetics. I do partner with them because they have an entire zodiac line. And this right here, what I'm about to show you is their new zodiac collection called Zodiac Crystal. Ooh. Just like the other palettes, they have shades for every single zodiac sign. Only this collection is based on the crystals that are associated with your zodiac sign. So if you open it up, this is what it looks like. We have the palette and also the brush set, which is really special because the brushes are also based on crystals as well. This is an Ulta exclusive. You can't get this on bhcosmetics.com. It has just been released on Ulta.com or in stores. That is the only place that you can get this collection. And just in case you were wondering, this is the palette that I used for my makeup look today. Here is what the inside of the palette looks like. My eyeshadow shadow look that I created today is from the Aquarius crystal, which is blue chalcedony. But yes, this is the entire Zodiac crystal palette. I am so proud to be working with BH Cosmetics. I will leave a link for the entire collection down in the description below. Those little veins in the palette are actually supposed to mimic real crystals. So when you swatch them, you can actually create stripes with your makeup look. It's really unique. If you would like to get this from Ulta, please use my link. It's a very special occasion, actually. I I really want to tell you guys what's coming up, but I really can't because it's a secret, but it has to do with me and BH Cosmetics. So make sure you check out the Zodiac Crystal Palette along with the brush set as well. I love how the handles are actually modeled after real crystals. But if you end up purchasing any of the crystal collection through my link, go to my Twitter and message me a screenshot of your receipt and I will follow you back on any social media of your choice. Like I said, this right here is so important to something that's coming up in the future that I can't tell you about right now, but but is really exciting nonetheless. But enough about me, let's talk about you and if you actually act like your sign. I will leave all of the timestamps down in the description for you so you can go straight to your sign and check out maybe your friends, your moms, your dogs, whoever. So let's just get started. Okay, Aries, so we're just gonna get right into it. You guys are a fire sign, which automatically means you have a very strong and bright personality. You guys burn really, really bright. A lot of times I associate Aries people with the color red simply because their energy is so bright and fiery and it's not always a bad thing and it's not always a good thing either. You guys require a lot of attention. Now, whether that be through your career, through your relationships, a lot of times it's through your relationships. Like you guys really love attention from your significant other. 
others and that's okay. But you can be a little overbearing sometimes because you guys are the ones that are gonna do stupid shit for attention. Like you guys know that one friend in the group that does really stupid shit because they just wanna make you laugh. It's usually an Aries and it's all out of good fun, but sometimes people are actually worried for your ass. Like people be wondering if you're okay. You're very wild, very rambunctious, and God forbid anyone try and control you because that is an Aries worst fear is being controlled or held back by someone. It's not gonna happen. You guys would never, you would never let that happen. Also, you guys can't stay focused on one thing for too long. I'm not sure if this is just an Aries thing, but I just noticed you Aries people bounce around from topic to topic, from career to career. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's bad. If you're in college, you might want to pick a major already. Like Aries people just don't really know what they want to do. They can't finish one thing because they're so excited about creating something new. So that is one thing that could be the downfall of an Aries person. But overall, you guys are really fun people. I always say that you are the clown of the group, always doing stupid shit, always entertaining everybody, always entertaining yourself. But if that sounds at all like you, then you probably act like your sign, Aries. Moving on to Taurus. I always say that Taurus is one of my favorite signs because generally speaking, you all are very caring and empathetic and you're able to understand other people really well. I seem to attract a lot of Tauruses in my life because they understand my emotions, okay? Us Cancers are very emotional and we need a good Taurus energy to not only ground us because you guys are an earth sign, but to make us feel validated. You guys make really excellent friends with other people that are emotional. Like like you, but you're more of the stable one, if that makes sense. Like you're like the mom that's talking the kid off of a ledge. That's the Taurus energy that we all need in our lives. But like I said, you are an earth sign, which means you're very grounding. Now you might not get along so well with certain air signs. Like sometimes people that float around up in space that don't really have any method to their madness drive you crazy because you're like, how do you even function? You mean you don't write everything down and organize your damn self? Those people drive you nuts because you couldn't imagine living that way. You're very grounded. You're very thoughtful with your own life and decisions. Now that doesn't mean that you guys are always clean because Tauruses are known for being very unclean. Like you guys are like the organized mess, if that makes any sense. Like you go into a Taurus's bedroom and it's a mess, but they know right where everything is. And if you move it, then they'll realize. I guess like if I had to describe the way a Taurus acts, it's they know what they want, they know how they want it, and if you get in the way of that or try and mess it up, it doesn't feel very good. <laughs> now, it is said that out of all 12 zodiac signs, Taurus is the most powerful sign just because they are obviously resembled by the bull, but they have this amount of self control where you can push them and push them and push them and they'll stay steady. Like, they'll take your shit because they know, oh, that that's petty. You know, they can brush things off really easily. But but if you push them far enough, for long enough, they will snap. You mess with the bull, you will get the horns. So beware of anyone that pushes a Taurus just far enough that they snap on you, because I'm telling you, they will come for you and destroy you worse than all of the Scorpios, worse than all of the Geminis. You just won't see that side of them very often. So much respect to all of the Tauruses out there that have a shit ton of patience and just generally put up with a lot of shit. If this sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Taurus and you act just like your sign. Now on to Gemini, which me did you meet? The two-faced bitches. You guys are actually one of my favorite signs as well, probably my second favorite. Even though you get the reputation of being super insane and crazy, you're actually the most creative out of all of the signs, and that is your superpower. You wear many hats and you're good at all of them. Like, it doesn't make sense to a lot of your friends and family. They're jealous of you because it's like, all right, we're all barely blessed with being able to do one thing kind of well, but for some reason, the Gemini in the family can do everything that they've ever tried and do it amazingly and have multiple careers in all of these fields and they're just sitting there like, oh, this is natural. You guys are talented. Like you're genuinely talented at everything that you try. So that can make it difficult for the Geminis to find what they are meant to be doing because they can do almost anything. If you actually look at the Zodiac charts of celebrities, you'll notice that almost all of them have Gemini in there somewhere because it's the talent sign. Like you guys are meant to be the stars of the show. All right. 
right? You're always in the front of the triangle. Natural leaders, natural communicators, that's just what Geminis do. And a lot of times it pisses people off. Let's just say you got a lot of people that are jealous of you. Because you are so naturally talented and because you talk a lot, you guys can come off as narcissistic and this pushes a lot of people away from you, especially the insecure ones. So watch out for insecure friends. Try and be gentle with certain people when you're talking to them. Just maybe shut your mouth for a second and listen to what other people have to say. Because even though you're not trying to, you're outshining a lot of people. And for us little cancer babies especially, you gotta be careful because we can be threatened by people that seem very outgoing. So just be aware that there are other people that are very sensitive that just need someone to listen. If this sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Gemini and you definitely act like your sign. Hello, my children. It is your crab queen here. I love you guys. I understand you guys very much. Bring it in. Just have a good cry. No, I'm just kidding. People like to call us the crybabies and that's fine. They can say whatever they want, even if it's true. No, not all cancers cry a lot. Like we actually are just feeling everything all the time. Like, I don't know about you, but like I look at this water bottle and I get an emotion. Like I look at my phone and I get an emotion. Anything can be translated as an emotion and it's overwhelming. Like you feel energy from everything and it's actually a gift or a curse depending on how you look at it so if you're a cancer please my darling be careful about your energy protect yourself do not open yourself up to everyone i know you wear your heart on your sleeve you've been through a lot but be careful who you tell your story to because people will hurt you, my darling, okay? Even if they're not trying to. Cancers are very intuitive, very emotional, and not always in a bad way. Very family oriented, so paternal or maternal. You love taking care of things. It doesn't always have to be children. It could be animals, plants, whatever. You like to take care of stuff and you like to know that someone relies on you and someone needs you because you're good at teaching. You really are. A lot of cancers become teachers because they can feel the emotions of those that can't really express themselves properly. A lot of cancers are psychics. A lot of cancers are clairvoyant or clairaudient. If you're a cancer, odds are you've had really weird situations where you've either predicted something or you knew something was gonna happen. Wearing a t-shirt when the email said business casual, but you just didn't really care. It's funny, you, were, you said business casual and I was literally looking up business casual looks for men when you said that. <laughs> It's because you're just in tune with things that not everyone can see. Try to be aware that not everyone wants to hurt you. Try and give some people some slack. Try to have different expectations for other people than you do for yourself because you're just gonna end up getting hurt. But sometimes, I have to say it, cancers can be a little manipulative if you're not careful. It's because you get wrapped up in your emotions and you want other people to feel the same emotions as you. You can feel more things, so you have to be careful that you're not seeking attention by crying or over reacting or trying to manipulate other people's feelings. Watch out for that, be self-aware, protect yourself, and continue crabbing on, my friends. If that sounds like you, then you're probably a Cancer and you definitely act like your zodiac sign. Hello to all my Leos. Yes, welcome. Are you ready? Yeah, you're ready to hear me talk about you because you love hearing about yourself and it's fine. I'm not exposing you. I'm not insulting you. It's just the fucking truth and we can all admit it, okay? This is a safe place. You guys should have seen this coming. You know how I feel about Leos. I have a best friend that is a Leo. Love her to death, yes, but we are polar opposites, okay? I'm a water sign. You're a fire sign. You shine very brightly. You're overbearing. You're outgoing. You express yourself. You're hot. You're freaking sexy. Everyone knows it, including you, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. People envy your confidence, and sometimes you Leo babes are secretly very confident inside, but like you need something to take it out of you. Like you're in your bedrooms, okay? Looking in the mirror, singing and dancing, and coming up with full-blown choreography moves for when your shit pops off, but you're afraid to pursue it because you've had so many people tell you that you need to sit the fuck down. Like, why? Why? Stop doing that. Stop listening to everyone else saying that, oh, you're too confident. You're a narcissist. No, you're a Leo. There's a reason why you're the lion. You're the king of the jungle. You are the leader. Like, you are born to be a leader for other people that can't lead themselves. And I don't know how many times I have to say this, but Leos, stop letting other people dim your light. I know you care about what other people think. That is your biggest downfall. You care way too much about what everyone else is saying. Get up, all right? Dust your shoulders off 
and be the queen that you're meant to be. A lot of Leos are surprisingly introverted. They are the introverted extroverts, if that makes any sense. Like they're very specific about their crowd of people and once they get around the right people, you will see their true colors, which are amazing. But I caution you, if you are a Leo, try not to outshine anyone else because like I said, your fire burns really bright and you're not always thinking about the emotional ones like me. You tend to burn other people very easily and accidentally, you don't like hurting people, you feel bad when you do it, but you're not always the most intuitive, so just be aware that other people take things personally, but don't overthink things either because other people's opinions, they don't matter. All that matters is what you think of yourself. So if that sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Leo and you definitely act like your zodiac sign. Now moving on to Virgo. Hello Virgos, welcome. Take a seat, take a seat, grab a snack, because I'm going to tell you everything about you and why you are so uptight. <laughs> yes, Virgos are known for being super uptight, super overly organized, but this is a good thing. Much like the Geminis, you guys are very talented. Like a lot of celebrities in the industry have been Virgos simply because they are perfectionists and they perfect their art. It's really uncommon that you find someone that cares so deeply about something that they are willing to perfect it. So Virgos are oftentimes more successful than other signs. I think that might be why I associate you guys with the color green because Virgos are constantly making that money. But the Virgo energy sometimes, for me at least, is a little chaotic because you like to control things. You have like this sense of I need to control everything around me and don't get me wrong, I'm not insulting you, I'm not exposing you because I've got Virgo in my chart so I know this feeling where you feel a mess if something goes wrong. Like it could be the smallest little thing, like your coffee at Starbucks, they accidentally put foam on it and now all of a sudden, like you're gonna have a terrible freaking day. Not to say that the Karens out there are Virgos, but y'all can have Karen energy sometimes, okay? Like things that just aren't a big deal, like you can make into a big deal and I understand why you could feel that way, but you need to learn how to roll with the punches and take things as they come and I know it's hard. Girl, trust me, I get it, it's hard, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just your coffee. You're gonna have a great day and I think it could be really beneficial for a Virgo to not so much focus on controlling their surroundings but try to control themselves and their emotions and how they feel about how things are constantly changing. Like you guys do not like change that much and that's okay <laughs> but you guys will be the first one to come forward to someone and say hey I really think your life's a mess. You should get your shit together when you haven't even taken a moment to check yourself. All right that is the Virgo's biggest downfall because they are the perfectionists. So if this sounds anything like you, you're probably a Virgo. Continue being successful, continue making that money. If any of that was accurate, then you definitely act like your zodiac sign. Okay, Libra, you knew this was coming, all right? Take a seat, I'm about to expose the shit out of you. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, Libras, you guys are air signs, which inherently means your head is up in the clouds a lot of the time. You don't really have a good sense of where you're going or why, it just kind of happens. You go with the flow, you don't really have a rhyme or reason why you do the things that you do, you just are a free spirit, I suppose. But that being said, that doesn't mean that you're not smart. A lot of Libras tend to be underestimated, like people might not think that you're like super intelligent but secretly you are but for some reason you don't feel the need to tell people that like you kind of get off on knowing that you're smarter than people think I don't know why but a lot of Libras go to college to be lawyers because they are very good at arguing oftentimes can win an argument because they're just so good at seeing both sides of a situation sometimes that means you guys can be empaths but because you're able to see both sides sometimes that means that your friends get super mad at you like can you believe that people actually want valid validation like Libras don't know how to give someone validation and that's the number one problem that I've had with all of my Libra friends I don't have very many because I'm a cancer I'm very emotional sometimes I'm overreacting but I just want someone to validate me I just want the Libra to tell me it's okay you have every right to feel that way but y'all would rather come at me and say oh well what was the other person's point of view no you they're not here you don't need to hear their side okay when you go hang out with them 
them. Then you can hear their side. I'm telling you my side right now. Listen to me. But no, y'all would rather defend someone that you don't even know sometimes. Like I always use this example and I will continue to use it till the day I die. I go up to the Libra and I say, I had a terrible day at work. My boss was mean to me. You guys will be way more concerned about how my boss feels about the situation. Like what about me? What about your friend that's trying to confide in you? I don't know. That's just a good example. Playing devil's advocate all the time. It's really nice when it's useful, but be careful about hurting people's feelings when you're not really trying to. That's something that happens a lot with Libras. But aside from that, you guys are also really adventurous. I've never met anyone else that has a thirst for knowledge like you guys. You need to constantly be learning something new. You need to travel to new places. It's also really common for the Libras to be indecisive as hell. You can't decide what you want to eat. And sometimes your significant other gets fed up with you because they just want to know what you're hungry for. And you're like, I don't know. What are you hungry for? And they're like, bitch. I asked you first like don't ask a Libra to make decisions because they will come back to you in like a year when they won't even have a full decision yet like it's impossible for a Libra to make up their mind especially if they feel passionate about two different things at the same time okay similar to the Gemini's but the Libras are almost worse with that but overall I mean you guys are a pretty good sign you don't act a fool or anything you're just a really creative adventurous empathetic person genuinely so if that sounds anything like you then you're probably a Libra and you definitely act like your zodiac sign. Hello, Scorpios. Uh, don't kill me. <laughs> no, I, I like to poke fun at you guys because I know it pisses you off. I'm just kidding. A lot of Scorpios are really cool. I actually have a friend that's a Scorpio. I was raised by a Scorpio. Yeah, you can imagine how that went. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're a fire sign. You're still a water sign. But you're the most fiery out of all of the water signs because you are, girl, you are zero to 100 sometimes. <laughs> Scorpios are the ones in the situation that like someone says some whack shit and you just want to take it to the next level. Like, you're going to escalate that shit. If you've ever been to the club and there's that one girl that's going, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Say it to my face. This is like, a that's the Scorpio clap, okay? This is the Scorpio clap. But you guys aren't always angry. You're actually really fun. Like, I love hanging out with my Scorpio friends because you know how to give a good time to everyone. All walks of life are attracted to you because you're really good at reading their energy and making them forget all of their problems in the world. Like, I don't know if you've ever gotten around a Scorpio, but I don't know how to describe it. They just like to have fun, genuinely. A lot of them are caring as well, a little too caring sometimes. Like, you guys are the ones that give people chances. You guys are the ones that one minute you hate someone. Like, you actually hate them. You want to rip their eyes out. You're talking all this shit about them. And then the next day, you forgave them already. And you're like, yes, I love them. And it confuses other people. <laughs> like, this is something that I've noted with a lot of Scorpio in my life is that we can't keep up with you. Like your life is so here and then there. It's just so chaotic. Like you guys are the definition of chaotic energy. <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. You're just moving at hyper speeds. Like other people are moving on a slower rate, living life on the right lane. When you are all the way over here, you're not even in the fast lane. You're in the carpool lane going past everyone. All right. That's how you like to live life. And that's okay. Scorpios are also very sexy. Probably the sexiest out of all of the water signs. It's not going unsaid. Scorpios oftentimes know that they're sexy and everyone else knows it too. All of my Scorpios out there, you know that effect that you have on people and it's powerful. Don't abuse it. Don't abuse it. But you also act very independent. You also act very self-reliant. No one's going to help you because you don't even want the help. You want to get shit done on your own and that is great. And overall, you're just a very dominant person. If you're ever in a relationship, you can't have someone else that's dominant. Like, I don't know if a Scorpio and a Leo ever got together. What? Oh my god. I don't know what that would look like. It's Scorpios, let me know down in the comments if you've ever dated a Leo and how that's going for you. But if that sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Scorpio and girl, you definitely act in like your zodiac sign. And next up is our Sagittarius. If you're wondering why I'm talking like this, it's because this is the Sagittarius voice. I love everything pink. I love everything expensive. I am a Barbie. Okay, don't come for me. I'm done, all right? I love you guys, believe it or not. Sagittarius, you are some fabulous bitches. I am so happy that I even have Sagittarius's subscribed to my channel. It's an honor. You guys are the definition of just beauty and perfection. Not necessarily the best
best decision makers, but all of the girls in my life that I've ever been jealous or envious of happen to be Sagittariuses. Now, even though you guys are super loving, you're known for having a really crazy dating life because you love so many people, um, <laughs> cheaters. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys don't really make the best decisions, do you? But when it comes to relationships, you just love so many people that you just want to love everyone. Like you want to just go around and give yourself like a little piece of yourself to everyone that wants one. Like, yeah, here you go. Here you go. All right, here you go. But, but girl, you can't do that all the time. All right. Some people don't like that. And I don't want you to think that I'm hating on you. This is a personality thing. This is just something that makes you a little bit different than everyone else. You need to communicate what your desires are in relationships and friendships so that no one gets hurt because you tend to hurt people's feelings, you know, not intentionally. You're just not very sensitive. So when you say things a certain way, people don't always know what you're meaning. Like you could say one thing to your friend and they'll take it a completely different way. That's probably something that you get frustrated with a lot. People don't know your intentions, so it's hard for you to communicate them. And you come off like a bitch. Like it's not your fault. You just do. So you have to be careful with what you say and how you say it, girl. But I'm not gonna lie. You are some fabulous mother frickers. I have Sagittarius in my chart and that is why I love glitter. I love makeup. I love hair. I love fashion. I love everything expensive. It's just in your genes, okay? It's something that runs through the universe into you and it's a part of who you are and it makes you absolutely fabulous. More fabulous than the other signs and you know it, okay? So if that sounds anything like you, then you're probably a Sagittarius and you definitely act like your zodiac sign. Hey Capricorns, sorry it's getting dark. I've been filming for a while, so just ignore the weird lighting situation. Because I know you're gonna come for me with your nitpickiness, like, oh girl, get it together, your lighting is off. How are you gonna make that coin when your lighting is off and your background's this and your camera's that? Coming for me in the comments, leaving that constructive criticism, Capricorns. That was a silicone packet from the Zodiac Crystal set. And yes, I just threw it at you because you guys, okay, sit down, shh, shh, shh. Don't come at me about how I'm living my life. Yes. Capricorns are notorious for being the money-driven ones because you guys are successful, you guys are the business girls, the girl boss, whatever, la la la. You guys are earth signs, which already means that you're down to earth, you're hardworking, you're stable, but you're also stubborn as hell. You're the one in the friend group that can't hang out, not because you're always working, because that, that too, but because you just don't want to either. Only when it's on your terms do you feel comfortable doing things that are outside of your comfort zone, and that's just the way you are. It's not just a bad thing. It's, it's just how you're made. It's a part of you. Capricorns are also very straightforward. If you have one as a friend, or if you are one, then you know they're gonna tell you how they feel. They're not gonna lie to you or beat around the bush. They're gonna be straight up and say, hey, Jessica, you were acting a fool last night, or uh, Rachel, I freaking don't like you. Like, they're not gonna lie. It's just the way of the Capricorn. Very straightforward, not the sensitive type. And something that I've also noticed is a lot of rich people have Capricorn in their chart. Sometimes, like, in their moon. If you have Capricorn in your moon, the moon is what rules your emotions. So if your emotions are on Capricorn, you really are going to be successful because you don't take things personally and you can run a business and not have emotional attachment to it. Like a good example of this is Jeffree Star. He has Capricorn in his moon. That business side of you kicks in, which is probably why he is a CEO of a billion dollar company. But all of my Capricorns out there, be really careful about how much you envy other people. I think Capricorn tend to want things that they don't have and that can be really toxic if you're not careful so watch out for that but overall you are very successful people like no matter what happens to you you're always gonna find a way to bounce back from bad situations and become successful and rich and make everyone else jealous okay if this sounds anything like you then you're probably a Capricorn and you definitely act like your zodiac sign Okay, Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. How are you? Um, no, I don't want to sign your petition. No, I don't care to hear about your political standing. I'm just kidding. Hey, guys, settle down, okay? Aquarius, Aquarius, far serious. You guys are gonna change the world. You guys have that drive to be the best people that walk the earth. Like, you actually feel like you want to save the planet. You care about things that a lot of people don't normally care about. You guys act like you're better than other people sometimes. I mean, someone had to say, 
it. If it wasn't gonna be you, it was gonna be me, okay? But honestly, it's because you are to a certain extent. You are better than a lot of people with the decisions that you make. Like, you think outside of yourself. You think as a whole. Like, the whole picture instead of an individual piece. And it's really intuitive. Very insightful of you, Aquarius. Believe it or not, Aquarius is not a water sign, despite what some people might think, because aqua is in the name. No, you guys are an air sign, which inherently means your head is up in the clouds. You are off drifting away, all right? Acting on just whatever. I mean, not really emotion, but like you take things as they come. Really great trait. You know how to go with the flow, but sometimes you're not really listening to other people that are down here on earth, okay? You're, we're trying to talk to you and you're up here worried about something else when we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't reach you. So sometimes you gotta come back down to earth, but it's because you guys are dreamers. Uh, you guys are the ones in class that aren't really listening. You're just like laying your head on the desk, looking out the window, like thinking of some invention that's gonna make you rich and like save the planet. <laughs> like, ah, uh, yes, I'm going to invent a straw that can filtrate any water from any source. Like you see those people on Shark Tank making those crazy products. Have you ever seen that show? Those are the Aquariuses of the world. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're innovative, okay? They've got great ideas. They have a thirst for knowledge and a thirst to share it with the world. But sometimes, you guys are crazy, okay? Like, no, who thought that like this weird toaster alarm clock was a good idea? An Aquarius. Sometimes you're trying to solve problems that don't need to be solved. Like that, that, there's no market for that. But at the end of the day, the world needs people like you guys. You're keeping us going, all right? You keep the world turning. If this sounds anything like you, then you might be an Aquarius. Ah, uh, yes, last and certainly, certainly least, huh? Just playing. Every Pisces I've ever met acted a very specific way. And it's not that you are a young soul or anything. A lot of Pisces are actually old souls, but you don't really act like how other people want you to act in certain situations. Like you guys are the ones to go into the business meeting wearing a t-shirt when the email said business casual, but you just didn't really care. Or you didn't read the email, one or the other. But that's just the energy of the Pisces. It's unpredictable, you know, no one can control it. It's a water Sign, so you guys act on emotion, all right? So you're very free, don't really follow rules, don't really do things that are conventional, like society, <laughs> like conventional, you know, standards that aren't really your thing. Something that people don't normally know about the Pisces sign, though, is that they're surprisingly really sensual. Like, they can be very seductive when they want to be, and a lot of that is like the water, you know, like the saying, tall glass of water. That's the Pisces. They have something about them that is very alluring to other people, and a lot of times people want to try and control it like they want the Pisces but they want them to be a certain way and like then they realize oh like you can't control a Pisces at all and it just doesn't work out because the Pisces can't be controlled they flow with their emotions and a little bit better than the cancer cancers get more overwhelmed with their emotions but Pisces they're emotional but they know how to handle it and they know how to flow along with it which is a huge strength that they have but you guys knew I was gonna say it you knew I was gonna go here when you clicked on this video the Pisces Pisces acts not their age. They they act younger normally. Normally the Pisces will become friends uh, with younger folk folk because they are younger at heart. They gravitate towards younger crowds. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Disney people, like not di kids that like Disney, like Disney adults, like the ones that like go to Disney for their honeymoon. Again, this isn't a bad thing, but it's like a Pisces thing. They're just fascinated with imagination and almost childlike in that way. And some people might call them out as immature because they just can't seem to get their life together, but it's just a Pisces thing. You wouldn't understand. But overall, they are a great sign. One of my favorite people in the world is a Pisces and even though they have their moments They are always so much fun and such a great friend. I love them so much But if this sounds anything like you then you might be a Pisces and you're definitely acting like your zodiac sign But that is it guys. Do you act like your zodiac sign? You can let me know down in the comments if I was accurate If you do not agree with what I said about your sign or you can't really relate It could be because you have other signs in your chart We all have an entire astrological chart that has more than your main sign in it And if you're over 18, you can hit up my astrologist and planetary advisor Victoria I will put her Instagram right here And if you are really into astrology and zodiac stuff, make sure you check out the entire zodiac 
crystal collection from BH Cosmetics, exclusive on Ulta.com and in Ulta stores. The brush set and the palette just got released. They're brand new. All of the shades are swatched right here once again. Check out the custom link in the description so that you can get your hands on this amazing Zodiac makeup. Like I said, there's colors in here that are assigned to every single sign if you want to check them out. But let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next on this Zodiac series. And if you would like to watch the rest of my Zodiac videos, I will leave a playlist right here so you can entertain yourself for hours. But thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that I've been filming for so long that the light is coming from one side and probably making me look scary. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed this video, but most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye!